Hey everybody, Rob McGarty here, Bushwick Real Estate Services. Hey, we're checking out 4758 2nd Avenue Northeast in Seattle's Wallingford neighborhood. This is a corner lot on the corner of 50th and 2nd, so we got a little bit of traffic coming through here. It actually goes down quite a ways. There's a garage at the end, which would be essentially impossible to get in and out of. Uh, and then this house also has an ADU downstairs. Let's go check it out. All right, here we are coming in the front porch. This is the 50th and 2nd, so this is a pretty busy street here, and you can hear uh, even at this hour, um, there's a lot of traffic happening. All right, so we're gonna come in the front door. We've got uh, original oak top nail floors, really worn in the entrance, but this would all buff out really nice and be a beautiful, beautiful oak floor. Um, all right, we're gonna go counterclockwise and then head upstairs. So it does also has an inlay in the floor around the perimeter, it looks really nice. Coming into the living room, really nice tall ceiling. Uh, there's double pane windows throughout this room. Uh, fire, wood burning fireplace. We see the uh, front air return for the furnace, and then we got a duct there, and then another duct over there and over here. Uh, typical cracking on the plaster. Uh, so we're coming into the dining room now. So there's the front door, just kind of orient yourself. Uh, floors, similar condition everywhere. Looks like probably a little bit of plant damage over here. Again, this is all sand out and look really good. Uh, double pane windows in this room as well. Walls are in pretty good shape. Nest thermostat, and now we're heading into the kitchen. It looks like they put the tile on top of the floor, so there's a little bit of a, just a small transition up. Uh, super basic kitchen, uh, granite tiles, uh, basic appliances, all that jazz. Uh, and then the bathroom on this floor does its three quarter bath with a shower right off the kitchen, so that's always a little awkward. And then it has a little seating area here for breakfast nook or a little home office setup. Again, double pane windows here. Uh, there's the basement, we'll check that out in a minute. And now we're gonna head back to the front door and then go upstairs. Oh, a little bit of storage under the stairs here. And then let's head up. All right, as we come to the top floor, we go from the first stair treads to uh, top nail oak up here. We've got a nice big landing area at the top of the stairs. We're gonna make a turn uh, to the right. We're now west facing. This room has got really nice tall ceilings, uh, relatively smooth wall, a little bit of texture, smooth ceiling, but we see a little bit of cracking in the lath and plaster to be expected. And then in the closet, we transition to an old fur floor uh, that's kind of rough, but would clean up really nice with being refinished. And then we've got a couple uh, little holes over here, which is usually an indication of blown in insulation. So we'll keep an eye on that as we go through the house. Uh, coming back, there's the stairs we came up. Just looking at the, the lay of the land, we've got some uh, plaster damage over there, um, but otherwise it's in pretty good shape. I do like that window up top, brings in a lot of light because that is the 50th side north facing there. So now we're gonna come into this bedroom. Uh, they have staged as an office and it is got a really heavy texture throughout the walls, but the ceiling is very smooth with typical lath and plaster cracks. So now we are south facing. Uh, we're looking down 2nd Avenue, uh, down towards downtown. And if we look right between this chimney, I don't think it's gonna work, but you can start to see a little bit of downtown right there. Okay. Uh, closet out here is just like the other room. I see a little circle over there. Uh, it's not plugged. So I'm, I'm not thinking they did a full insulation job on here based on how few circles I'm seeing. Uh, Built-in linen closet here, and then bedroom three upstairs. This is now uh, east facing, and double pane windows, really tall ceiling, smooth walls in here, but we have a textured ceiling. So every room has a different combo of texture, wall finish. Uh, and then same setup on the closet. So fur floor, a little bit of built-ins in here. They're all a little bit rough looking. The whole place needs to be, it's been a rental for a long, long time. Uh, tub, stackable washer and dryer, toilet, and then pedestal sink. So there's not a lot of storage in this uh, bathroom, but totally functional. All right, and that wraps up the upstairs. All right, let's go head down to the basement. All right, as we come down the basement stairs, we notice uh, some pipes over here. This, this is like electrical conduit and plumbing that are embedded in the wall themselves. So it's a little bit hard to see, but the pipes are halfway in the in the wall material. Uh, coming down the basement, we got LVP floor, uh, it's kind of strange angled wall here coming into the, the ADU down here. We come into the kitchen, teeny tiny stove over there, sink, and then a bathroom off the kitchen, which is always everybody's favorite. Um, and then there's two rooms here. So the bedrooms in the back, Ceiling height's pretty low through here. It's probably like, it's probably six foot eight. A built-in dresser there, egress window, closet, a little bit rough, and then a, a, kind of a 
glass front door into this really tight closet that they've jammed in a washer and dryer. Uh, so it does have washer and dryer in your bedroom. And then now we get even lower ceiling height. So this is about less than six foot through this entry here. So you really got a duck coming in. And then this is the living room, which is really, really dark, but this would be the access from the outside. Uh, French doors go in there. And then there's another uh, closet here and they've got some foam protection because it's so low. All right, that wraps up the basement.